let's check some properties of stairs. Uh, and we can start with the uh, steps, actually. Uh, as you all know, uh, stairs provide means for moving from one level uh, to another vertically. And uh, they are important uh, because they create the links in overall circulation scheme of, the, of a building. Uh, however, uh, besides its function, uh, the only thing is not the function, obviously, uh, the properties of stairs, such as its form, colors, these are also important in terms of the design of the space. Uh, so uh, we need to think them uh, both. Uh, the, uh, we need to uh, provide a safe uh, means of transport uh, from one level to another. Also, we need to consider the design of the space uh, as well. We need to do the both. Uh, and it, 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 it's not just the only the inside spaces, the, the indoor spaces. Uh, we can consider the outdoor uh, environment, the facade uh, as well. Uh, also, uh, as you can see here, uh, we can uh, design the whole, uh, whole idea uh, in a different level. Uh, this is a, a multi-story building that, that has been designed by David Chipperfield uh, in Berlin. Uh, and this is the um, staircase which provides uh, access to different uh, floors. However, as you can see, uh, these parts are designed as spaces, living spaces. So we can do it uh, not just for the whole building, but for a space as well. Uh, here, this is a nice example uh, to uh, create different levels in a space. This, as you can see, we uh, are looking at a, a bedroom here uh, and the, uh, the level of the bed. Uh, is elevated from the level of the floor uh, and it goes uh, uh, like that. So uh, maybe they are using these vertical surfaces as storage areas. Uh, and this is one of the nicest examples uh, in staircase design. It's uh, the creation of uh, Carlos Scarpa, the Olivetto showroom. Uh, and when we look at the steps, we uh, see that uh, the steps uh, include two surfaces, the vertical surface, which we call uh, as riser, uh, and uh, the horizontal surface, which we stop with our foot, uh, and it's called the thread. Uh, the dimensions of risers and threads in a stairway, uh, they should be proportional, proportionate uh, because uh, it, uh, it affects how we move. Uh, if, uh, if the dimensions are not correct, uh, it will be hard for us to move uh, in the stairs. Uh, it should be compatible with our body movement. And uh, these are the important things that we need to consider. Uh, when we are walking on a, a horizontal surface, uh, the standard uh, approximate uh, distance between our two foot uh, steps are uh, 70 to 75 centimeters. However, if the surface is inclined like a ramp, uh, then this uh, distance uh, decreases to 66 to 65 centimeters. So this is something that we need to consider uh, when designing the steps. Uh, and the other height, uh, the other dimension is the height. Uh, the maximum height that we can uh, raise our foot uh, is 31 uh, centimeters. This, this is the upper limit. We shouldn't... Uh, forget that. So uh, when we use these uh, numbers, uh, the uh, width of the riser and the, uh, the width of the thread and the height of the riser, uh, that appears a certain pitch, uh, which uh, we can in uh, indicate by using percentage or the angle here. Uh, and uh, we know that if the uh, angle uh, is small, uh, then uh, the stairs will have wider risers. Uh, and if the uh, angle is uh, sharp, uh, then the stairs uh, will, the steps will have uh, higher risers, uh, wider threads and higher risers. And uh, to be comfortable, uh, this is the, uh, at around uh, 30 degrees, 
uh, this is the best uh, angle for us uh, to move. Uh, it shouldn't be uh, smaller than uh, 20 degrees, uh, and it shouldn't be higher than 45 degrees. Uh, if we keep it uh, between these angles, uh, it will be easier for us to move through the stairs. Uh, let's say that if the pitch is high, if it's step, steep, uh, this, this, uh, this can be very tiring for us, especially when we consider the elder people or uh, small children. Uh, and uh, it will be psychologically uh, scary for us. Uh, it can be uh, very scary for us to climb uh, that kind of stairs, uh, which are very steep. Uh, as you can see here, it's, it's frightening. Uh, also, we need to, when we are considering the pitch, we need to consider the function of the building. Uh, and as I said before, the properties of the user, like the biological properties uh, and the total area of the stairwell. Uh, this is a very nice uh, diagram that shows the uh, optimum pitch uh, here in, in angles. Uh, and if you go uh, towards this direction, then uh, you will reach 90 degrees, which is uh, the, uh, the uh, elevator, uh, in, in fact, uh, the vertical travel between floors. Uh, and uh, if you go uh, below the uh, 20 degree angle, uh, you need to do uh, either a ramp uh, or uh, an, a, a moving uh, escalator or a moving uh, automatic stairs. Uh, we can design. So uh, the function of the building will give idea about the people that are going to use the build, building. So uh, for the monumental buildings or kindergartens, the maximum riser height should be 12 centimeters. Uh, for preschools, it can be 13 to 14 centimeters. Uh, primary schools, uh, you can do a 14 centimeter high riser. For public buildings, we can uh, do 15 centimeters, residents can be 16 centimeters. Uh, if we are talking about a private residence, uh, which, uh, which is, uh, which the, uh, in which the, the uh, users are uh, definite, def there are definite users who are not sick, who are not old or young or very young or uh, who doesn't have any moving uh, problems. Uh, then we can raise the height of the riser to 19 centimeters, uh, and the maximum uh, height uh, should be 22 centimeters. Uh, the optimum dimension for a thread uh, is at 30 centimeters. So uh, if we want to keep the uh, pitch uh, in an optimum uh, angle, uh, then uh, we can use this formula here, uh, we need to uh, uh, add the thread, the width of the thread. Uh, with, uh, we need to uh, uh, add, add uh, the width of the thread to uh, two times of the riser height. Uh, and this, uh, uh, this calculation should be equal to 600 to 640 millimeters. Uh, if we keep it uh, between these numbers, then we will have a, a normal uh, pitch uh, stairs. Uh, and of course, for safety reasons, all risers uh, in a flight of stairs uh, and all the all the threads, the width of the threads and the height of the risers, they should be equal. Uh, we shouldn't change it uh, because uh, when we are moving, uh, we are using our muscle memory. And we don't think, uh, we just move. And this can be very dangerous. Uh, and uh, here is the other thing that we need to consider when de designing the stairs. Uh, if you do a, a, a steep stairs with, a, a, uh, with an acuta, uh, with a large angle uh, uh, that is close to 90 degrees, then the total length of the, the horizontal length of the stair uh, stairway uh, is uh, decreased, uh, which means that the stairs, the area, the volume that the stairs occupy 
uh, can be smaller. Uh, we can uh, spare more areas for other functions, for other spaces. Uh, and if we choose a, a, an acute angle, uh, then we should know that uh, the total length of the stairs uh, and the total volume, the area of the stairs occupy will increase. Uh, that's, these are the important things that we need to consider.